If you took France and Germany and distilled them down into liquid form and then blended them, the result might be similar to Alsace, where two of Europe's great superpowers meet and also diverge. It's not the best known part of France, but it does attract its fair share of visitors. Now, on one level, that's because it's very scenic. You've got those timber beamed houses and cobbled streets and then vine clad hillsides with the odd castle or forest on top. But for the gastronomes, there are also a ridiculous number of Michelin starred restaurants and some world class wines. The location is key. Just over the border from Germany, which is formed by the Rhine River, you've got an east-facing ridge of hills, which are ideal for vine growing. And that's partly because just to the west, there is the Vosges Mountains, and they shelter this part of the world, making it one of the driest and sunniest parts of France. This is predominantly white wine territory, and you can find your way around them relatively easily because, unusually for France, the grape varieties tend to appear on the label. And those grape varieties are quite similar to the ones that you find across the border in Germany. So we're talking Riesling, Gewürztraminer, Silvana, Pinot Gris, and then for the reds, Pinot Noir. And while the grape varieties, and indeed the bottle shapes, might be Germanic, the wine styles tend to be a bit more French, so aromatic, fruit forward, quite full bodied, often dry in style, although they do veer into sweet and luscious territory to excellent effect. Tasting perfumed Gewürztraminer in Alsace is an essential part of any tourist's itinerary, but don't miss out on the heady Pinot Gris or the steely, succulent Rieslings either. There are also some lovely sparkling wines and those are known as Cremant d'Alsace. The power of wine and food to bring people together, to bridge divides and to make sense of places is rarely as appropriate as it is in Alsace. This is a region that lives and breathes history, gastronomy and wine like few others.